Welcome back. Oh, we are going. Oh, we, we are. are. We're Go live. I'm We're gonna live. Go I'm going to turn my hat around because I feel ridiculous looking at myself on that monitor. You're not a backwards hat kind of guy. Well, you no. ain't a rapper. I got too big a forehead. Yeah, you ain't I a got ra- a five head. You ain't a rapper. He's a backwards uh, yeah. hat horse kind head, of fella. Horse head. I do have a horse head. He does I used have to a horse head. There's no doubt about it. I have got a head. On That's me. right, boys. He's got one. I got a pretty big head. My dad used to call me watermelon head. Watermelon head. Okay. Water head, watermelon head, jug head, horse there head. Is. There it is. You name them. Ladies and gentlemen, John Godwin of the Duck Call Room Podcast. <laughs> With, you a shiny new, a with a shiny new coffee cup. Yeah. How about that? Godwin, what have you been up to? 5'2", eyes of blue. How about okay. you? Okay, all right. There you go. There you go. <laughs> he got you, J.D. He got you. Hey, don't be drinking. Don't be drinking nothing in here. 5'2", he eyes five, of blue. Eyes of blue, boy. How about you? You're taller than 5'2", though, ain't yeah, you? Yeah, 5'7". 5'7". That's not seven. very tall. Well, No, I'm talking about what have you been doing? What have I been doing? Yes. I've been uh, since when? Since we last well, saw hey, you, I haven't you seen you. Talk, it feels like you were weeks. talking about something you entered. Oh, the other day. I went to the crappie expo. Oh, okay. Well, I said that's crappie what? fishing on the Red River, and you didn't make it, did you? Didn't make it. Didn't make. It. I was on about nine pounds. Right. About nine pounds. Went in there. Everybody. Oh, you were in a tournament. Yeah, yeah. we fished yeah. pretty small to be so big. <laughs> didn't nobody pretty hardly small. knock through. So they all stayed Pretty small wide. to be so big. I it got a did. question. Hey, everybody was one. on top of each yeah, other. That was a good oh, one. Oh, so everybody, everybody fishing the same spot? Yeah, just about. Everybody fishing the Red same. River's pretty big. Red I had boat 93. Yeah. And uh, I got to my spot, and there was seven, eight boats in there. Did you have a partner? I did. White Tucker. White, White from Tucker. Missouri. A young lad. From Missouri. Up, gonna be good. I'll but, become um, I'll become you all star. I grinded it come. out, but didn't didn't grind it out enough. Uh, but hey, you didn't do it. Grinding it out. Wrong bait. <sighs> Had to tie another bait on. Go back tomorrow. Yeah, wrong bait. I want to go back because. Oh, it, now it, you catch a thousand pounds. Right. Oh, they was in there. They yeah, just the them. They, it's going to take them fish two months to get over this. They, they got that thousand mile stare in their eyes. Yeah. Too, too many baits. Hey, uh-huh. tell me, good, great. They've been look, caught look, 15 times. Yeah, look at all the baits going by. You put them back? Catch and release. You catch and release no. a crappie? Oh, yeah. Catch no. and release. That's no. yeah, on tournaments. On yeah. tournaments. Uh-huh. Catch they tore up 17 boats. You tore up 17 boats? Them old rock jetties are bad on them holes and foots. <laughs> Ain't no skags left around there no more? I pulled I up to the ramp one day. This guy was put his rods in his rod box. He said, I got water in my rod box. I got to looking down the side of that boat. I said, there's your problem. There's big old chunks out of that ranger. <laughs> I said, you better quit jumping them rock jetties. Yeah, he yeah. Said, hey, you can't Whoop. jump them rock jetties, boys. Hey, he was doing can't it. Can't do it. They're he thought him, he was telling them a uh, uh, fiberglass them. boat. Yep, boys. He's rough. It's fun. Well, what else you been doing? How's that? What there's, else? A, there's a very specific thing I want you to talk about. Uh, why he's got um, two coffee cups? That? Oh, oh, one's, that yeah. one's for m and Oh, boy. And one's for drinking out of. Oh, one's holding his M&M's mm-hmm. and one's for drinking so out of. So my man got an M&M cup. One's for uh, coffee uh, and one's for m Yeah. Ain't that cool, duck cold? If you pour coffee over it, do you have hot chocolate? Oh, I bet you that'd be good. That might be why it might work. Still got another question. Look, he still got my one. shirt. There it oh. is. All right, we <laughs> the, made it there. The flea circus. Look, a guy Mick from Critters Creek sent me this. Is that not awesome? The you flea. might have to stand up so can people we can zoom see in it. on the this? flea circus. We can take that. a picture maybe and post it. There this and the for our listeners, flea is awesome. There is a hey, got John I Godwin's like it. face. That's it. Yeah. I like it on a dirt bike. Mm. Yeah. Do With it. a duck call. Doing a whip. Some ducks. Yep, I like it. He's doing a whip, yep. he says. What does that say? That's FF for flying flea. Oh, I like that. Flying flea, boy. What's yep. that other word? Godwin? Yep. Uh, he's okay. Right there? Yeah, Godwin. It's like the his flying own. Flying flea, It's Godwin. like his own NASCAR shirt. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. There you go. All right, All right. I feel like I'm in Daytona Beach. You can and get I just them now for 1999. 1999, can you? boy. You can have them. Can I would buy one of those at a gas station in Daytona, for sure. That's it, boy. Hey, that's yeah. where, no, Talladega's where they at. 
Oh, Tal- a guy Talladega. 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 Talladega too Same classy thing. for that. Yeah. Makes sense. I've never Just been to Talladega. Over by the firewood. Yeah. The orga- and the bead. The organic firewood. <laughs> yeah. Well, Martin, yeah. what have you been up to? What did I do? Oh, I went hunting this weekend. What did you hunt? It was opening weekend. Deer yep. season. With a bow? Yeah. Oh, you see anything? <laughs> nope. He ain't See a anything? Man. Didn't even take my didn't even take my bow off safety. Oh, he didn't take mm. it off safety, boys. No, I heard you have to. Well, no, I, I get just it. Kidding. Yeah, well, you. that was close before I yeah, said something careful, stupid. Easy, son. Too late. I did Saturday or Saturday. We did a little work. Had some bush hogging left to do, and then I took my woman to the pond on the place that we hunt. Oh, and she caught the biggest bass she's ever caught in her life. Which how much? I, I want to go. Probably five pounds. Five. But I, I want to go. go. On a six and a half pound body, you know, it's fall. They're poor. They're skinny yep. this time of year. Yep. Um, and then I took the uh, the owner's son hunting that evening, and he whacked him a good one. Oh. Whacked so, him a good one? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, how many points? About 15 or 18. Uh, no, about 10. 10? Yeah, it's 5 by 5. Well, 5 by 5 ain't bad. Yeah. yeah. Martin, oh, he's a nine old. places to hunt. He run him through. No, I'm talking to the boy. How old is the boy? Nine years old. Nine, nine years old? Hey, nine years old. About. I ain't never seen that kid that fired up in all my life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think his feet touched a yeah. step yeah, on he, the stand. He's walking on cloud nine. But it's me, him, and Brittany hunting in the same box stand. I was sitting back there by the door with one leg out the door because with a tight squeeze in there. And Brittany and a nine-year-old were trying to kill something? Well, Brittany did? was observation. Yeah. She was she, she was, was my lookout. She was a spotter. Since spotter. I was in the back. Spotter. And, uh, that seems like I don't a- know how we saw anything with them two chatterboxes. <laughs> <laughs> they talked the whole time. I was, I was laughing, though, because they're just carrying on because, you know, they – in the grand scheme of things, they're still both relatively new to hunting, even though they've both been doing well, it for a I while Well, I so. will quote one of our cameramen. He said, when you get sneaky, that's when deer get sneaky. Yeah. Okay, so hey. And we sitting there in that the That sounds like right. I'll sneaky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. when right. you get to slipping, they get to slipping. Oh, yeah. Who yeah. said that? Uh, Greg Eppernet. Yeah. Oh, that's old school. And hey, this was, yeah, this is the man that stays in the top of a tree. And when I mean in the top of the tree... No, that was Sinky. That was Lyle Sinky. Oh, I, I, I had the wrong one. Lyle Sinky was yeah. the top of the tree, man. Lyle. I did have. We did have a situation this weekend that just remind all you folks out there: be careful when you're in the woods, because yep. we had hey, a, we man. had a guy slip on a deer stand and mm. and hit every step on the way down. He wasn't tied to in. The ground. Well, it's a it's a box. Oh yeah. So it was yeah. first time up the box in a ladder. And that ladder had had a little mildew on it from, Slippy. you know, well, because we're humid yeah, and Slippy. 100 different things. And he w- it was raining. Mm. <clears throat> and he hit one of them steps just right, and his feet left out from under him. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, did it take skin off his chins? Uh, well, the broadhead from his arrow oh, got him pretty good across the hand because it broke an arrow off. Mm. Mm. And... Uh, yeah, he he's he got a few cuts and bruises, wow. bumps and bruises, it but o- overall, it, it could have been worse. Overall, very fortunate, but yeah. be just yeah. There, and that's a hard one to avoid because you're thinking yeah. I'm on a staircase of a yeah. box blind, like there yeah. shouldn't be nothing go wrong. Just remember your first time up these things. Yeah. Check mm. check for mildew. Check for things like that, especially well, you're in thinking the nothing's gonna happen to me. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Especially on, I mean, like. I, I get you're careless climbing. when you're climbing something like that. You don't think about it. It's just be, man, it's a staircase. Yeah, you just walk up and walk down it. You yeah, know. Be careful. Wow. But, uh, yeah. So be careful out there. Now in yep. a tree, tie in tree stand. Yep. You tie in. That's yep. not if you yep. ain't doing that. Shame on you. Anyway. No questions I mean, you're, asked. You're asking to hurt yourself. That's exactly right. So, but you got to just remember them boxes will hurt you too. Them oh, yeah. that you think yep. are uber safe, just yep. you still 15, 20 foot off the ground. So, and most hunters aren't nimble anymore it's 2020 it used to there was you know you had to chase the animals yourself yeah now we just sit in trees and boxes so you're not with a snack ath- bag whoever you are out there that just said i ain't tying in you're not as athletic as you think you are and i uh, don't want to read about you in the paper i would just like to point out that gravity is and will remain undefeated always <laughs> undefeated <laughs> And the bigger they are, the harder they fall. They they won't recover from that one. Martin can attest to that. Oh, I fall hard. I, I hard. do Hard. But wow. no, that's about it. I, I I thought I was gonna be like it was kind of felt weird, you know, it was a great weekend in theory of college football. 
Great weekend. I don't like football anymore. And then, so I'm like, am I going to hunt or watch football? I was like, well, I'm going to go hunting. I'll just catch up. And then the good college football games weren't good at all. Nothing's good about Alabama football. beats the tar out of Ole Miss. I thought that'd be good. Georgia acted like Arkansas wasn't even there. Well, um, ball. You know. I, I, thought, I, I, well, I will say, if you I were, thought that would have been a good game. I did, too. No, yeah. I got killed. Yeah. I thought Arkansas huh. was back. So. But I, here's what I will say. I was bought in. Go Kentucky. What'd they do? They beat Florida. Oh, no, yes. Did they really? And any time oh, yeah. the Gators it. lose, I feel good. <laughs> Kentucky yes, Dashers, <laughs> that is for you. If you're watching this, go Wildcats. That's it. That's, That's what it. I'm talking yeah. about. That's go. a basketball school that just beat Florida. And who cares? They a football school now. Uh, yeah. Thank you. But Can y'all hear what I'm hearing in my ears? All I hear is you crunching on them M&M's. Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah. Right now? Can you? Not right now. Oh, can I? <laughs> can I? He said. That's why I was asking you, could you hear it? Oh, yeah. But the state of Louisiana had a rough weekend in football. So right. It must yeah. have went from mine to yours, Gala. I had it about two weeks ago. What are we talking about? A buzz. It's just a little. Oh, there's a buzz. In no. the back. Did you do In it? the back. You know what I've come to realize? More than half, that's greater than 50% of Americans. Math. Are on a high deductible health insurance plan. Uh, on the hook for thousands whoa. of dollars of deductibles, co-pays. Did you just say health insurance? Along with their sky high premiums, that is the worst. You know a little something about insurance. Oh, don't you? Uh, medical bills. I pay that, as the great Andre Three Thousand once said in a song. Yeah, I got more. I mean, I we've had surgeries and hospitals and helicopter rides. Pfft, you want to talk about a, a ruckus, an expensive ruckus that you probably don't even understand because it's garbage. The the American insurance. Mm, the I. I need to go. I'm going to get. Yeah. I'm, well, look. I'm out. I've got good news for you. Do you okay. have a better solution? Tell me of a better solution before I get pissed. Absolutely, I do. Because Crowd Health, our friends over at Crowd Health, they're not even health insurance. It's a better way to pay medical expenses. Really Crowd are. Health is a community of people who are tired of paying for a broken system, a place where you can get a simple, flexible, and affordable way to pay for your health care. Being in the Crowd Health community can save hundreds of dollars monthly and put thousands of of dollars back in your pocket the cool thing is they're flexible membership is a monthly subscription start or stop whenever you want it's simple using their app you can find nearly any doctor in the country rank one star to five star and their membership is a community of health conscious members who want to get and stay healthy in return for lower prices look crowd health is able to offer amazing prices because of its community of health conscious members but for a limited time our listeners get their first month free and after you've been a member, Crowd Health will include a fitness wearable that's 30 days to try risk free plus the fitness wearable. Just go to joincrowdhealth.com slash fit and enter code duck at sign up. That's joincrowdhealth.com slash fit promo code duck. Crowd Health is not health insurance, it's a community powered alternative. Terms and conditions may apply. So we you know, most of us got caught up on what we've been doing, but Sai, what did you do this weekend? Nothing. Slept. Okay, done. I rested. I rested. Now, next question is, what have you been up to? So, uh -oh. I have a funny story to tell, uh -oh. but it is preceded by this. So, I went on a men's uh, retreat this weekend, and where at? In the woods. Oh, um, just around here. Just around here. Yeah, oh, okay. and it was mainly guys from our church that I go to. Um, and there were 61 people that went on it for the first time. We had 31 baptisms hey. up top. So it was a really awesome time. Yeah, it was. That's more than half. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, that's 61 were first timers. That's Actually, 51%. Yeah. 61 were first timers. Yeah. We had right. uh, probably 100 people that have done it before that are there helping out, uh, putting it on for the first time, guys. Uh, but there were some guys from New Mexico who were super cool. Shout that's out. a long walk. Hey. I think they flew. They were from Las Cruces, New Mexico. So I've got some New Mexican friends now. Okay. And uh, that's it's actually, that's how you say it. I had to yep. double check. Kind of Las Cruces? It's, it's south of Raton. New Mexico. South of Raton? I don't know. Well, well, I was uh, talking about New Mexican. Yeah, it's New, New Mexican. Mexican. You got to watch your spacing on those syllables. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I you called say them it New is... Mexicans, and everybody looked at me like, oh, did you offend them? And I said, that's what my new friends are. They're New Mexicans. Yeah, but All if you right. say I've got a New Mexican, I have a, I that's have, like describing a restaurant. If I you have, say New Mexican all one yeah, word, then yeah. that, that's them. Yeah, I have yeah. five friends that are new that are also right. New Mexicans. 
Yeah. I wonder if anybody so got some new Mexican friends. friends. That are yeah, new so they're from out of town. Uh, oh, Willie oh. came out for a little bit. We talked with them about, you know, the show and stuff like that for a little bit. Um, they were super cool dudes. And then there was a dude from Texas. Uh, I don't even know how he got there. I got a lot of questions. I need to talk to him. If you're listening, friend, which <laughs> no. I'm mad at you still, and I didn't tell you this at the time because no, no, no. I was he, he so embarrassed. So this guy, it's all over. We're packing our stuff up. He's headed to his truck. It's like, hey, man, great to meet you. Great time. And he looks at me and says, yeah, man, well, I'll say this about you. You've really blown up in the last couple of years. And that was it kind of caught me off guard, and I was like, yeah. and there's a yeah. couple guys that said they listen to podcasts or whatever, which I thought was blown you know, weird. Up. Yeah, and so I was like, I mean, I haven't blown up. I'm so hold on. I sit next si, to Cy. You hear somebody say you've blown up these last couple of years. What are you thinking? I don't know what to think. Exactly. Like Y'all when you blew up, I've got fat. Shh, don't ruin the yeah. story. So well, I, that's I, what I. When you say that, that's the only but, thing I can think of. But in general terms, today, when somebody says, "Man, you've blown up these last couple of years," that means like you got. A bunch of Instagram followers. Like when so you, Duck you, Dynasty you've blew up. Oh, famous. Like oh. you've blown up. That's what I, and I was, okay. so, I mean, I feel bad for even thinking that's what he was talking about because I'm, but that, listen, listen. That to, went over my head. Well, listen okay. to Mr. Ego here. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, like, <laughs> I'm sitting there, like, I honestly, I was like, bro, no, not me. I don't, this is not my thing. I just sit next to Cy. Si. That's, I'm trying to like be like, I appreciate it, but that's not even true. Like, yeah. if I if I go by the wayside tomorrow, this podcast continues on. There's no problems here. Everything's fine. And so I thought that's what he was saying, which I was like, I appreciate that. Maybe, maybe I finally got a fan. And I, so I said, nah, man, I just sit next to Cy. And he looked at me square in the eyes. He goes, nah, man, you, you've gotten kind of big. <laughs> and I've never well, been I, more embarrassed. <laughs> I have never been more embarrassed in my life. I was like, oh, and man. been working out, too. I know. I've lost. I look, hey, look. I went and looked at a good. picture. I've lost 18 pounds. And, and the dude told me I'd gotten fat. Yeah, he's yeah. been he's been at the house of pain with old stone. And he tell you, you kind of getting you blown up there. But I mean, as that? soon as I thought, the first person that ever said something, that I was like, well, yeah, I'm on a podcast with Cy Robertson. As yeah. soon as I say something stupid like that, he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, you, Hammer. Yeah. Which he doesn't know me. <laughs> so clearly he's seen pictures oh, of me from got a podcast? the Duck Dynasty days. Uh, but he's just straight called me fat. I yeah. still. Pittsburgh, Texas. He told me that story. I still think he thinks you're Jeff. Maybe. But we're yeah. friends. We prayed together. We got he humbled does. together. He does favor Jeff a lot. People say that. Because, because, no, no, because of the hair and the beard. But the but what about the, yeah. the foot oh. and the hundo pounds? No, I think he thought you were Jeff. Maybe. Yeah. I'm going to ask him. I mean, I got his phone I, you've been We're friends. You've been consistent. You ain't ever been little. No, I haven't no. been little since so, I was a kid. To say you were... No, I, I disagree. You haven't blown up. I disagree. I blew disagree. up when I got married. It's the wrong choice of words. Or mistaken identity. Or mistaken identity. It's I'm just, going with mistaken oh, identity. Yeah, I agree now. I see what you're saying. Because, like, if he thinks he's Jeff, well, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got he has, a big. Yeah, he has blown up. I mean, and you've you grown a foot. I just, and, yeah, and I just got that. Because yeah. when I said, oh, Jeff, smaller. Oh, yeah, okay, you have blown up, dude. Yeah. But that, okay. that one was. I was like, That's well, what happened. But this is a good lesson for Humble. people. Humble. Yeah. This is a good lesson for people. Also, don't call people fat. Don't walk up to them and say they've blown up. Yeah. That ain't good. You've no. gained a few pounds, haven't you? Well, or. But well, how do you know what I used to look that like? That ain't good either, guy. Or like, don't say nothing. <laughs> Trust me. I know because, hey, Christine did it to Al. Hey, Chubby. <laughs> yeah. Why you got to yeah. point it out to people? Well, hey, I just had to bring it up. Well, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. no, that's well, fantastic. That's hey, family. You hey, do whatever yeah, you want right, to to family. Yeah, right. Just family. so y'all know, yeah, yeah. I, will, I will never mistake somebody for being a fan of this podcast again because hey. they might just think hey. I'm a big old tubby hey. person. Family yeah. is, yeah. hey, fair there game. Family is fair game. But nobody wins. In that. It's just like yeah. saying, yeah. walking up to a woman and saying, oh, congratulations. Uh, what if she ain't pregnant? Yeah. Whoa. That's when it's bad. That's, Have you done that? That has actually happened. 
No. It wasn't me. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> but, oh, I remember but, that. But it actually has happened. <laughs> well, that. congratulations. Who? We'll keep that to ourselves. Yeah. But yeah. I'm We're not allowed that. to say who did that? No. I, no. What, what I'm saying. Oh, oh goodness gracious. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like there's some turmoil on the inner workings of Duck Commander <laughs> right. from before yeah, exactly. my time. It's but, turmoil. But what I'm saying, nobody wins. Yeah. You it's don't win. It's a bad situation. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, Have you she, been mistaken? If she's pregnant, she knows she's pregnant. Yeah. You ain't got to congratulate yeah. her. Like, and if she's not, oh, it's, heaven it, forbid. Yeah. It's better to be kind. And in the same way with guys, you ain't got to tell <laughs> yeah. them they fat. Yeah. But it's the same deal. I'm 18 Some now. people get tired of hearing they're skinny. Yeah. Like, this, like me. I got a great idea. Shut up. Let's like no hey. longer comment on people's weight. That's right. Period. Period. Unless they unless look you way know, better. Unless you know they have a goal in mind. That's right. Unless no, you no, have the now you can say deal. you can say, Hey, I hadn't seen you for a while, You're but looking hey, good. Hey, you, you look different. You look different. I think you've actually lost weight. Maybe you're putting on some muscle. But see the problem you is if you don't know their goal, there's a lot of bad things that can cause weight oh. loss. And you don't want to bring up them wounds well, either. Hey, hey, well, hey, I'm hey. saying unless you know the story, just keep your mouth yeah, shut. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna tell I you. think y'all are a little too sensitive. I, well, no, no, <laughs> I, I hey, thought it was a lie. Oh, just, I don't care. No, no, I was <laughs> just fixing to say we have gone to the point of okay, that we can't even be truthful with little conversation. Look, without hey, look, you, someone getting offended. Look, you Robertsons has always been a lot more than a little truthful. <laughs> That's <right>? also <laughs> true. I wasn't necessarily offended by hey. being called fat. I was offended by myself thinking I was maybe a, not even a big deal, but an actual deal, and he was actually just calling me fat. I'm just trying I thought to figure it was out funny. when he knew you from. But, it had to yeah. be Duck Dynasty that one oh, no, episode. No, no. But I'm you kidding. were bigger no, no. then. Like they no, I was you way in, bigger then. They had you in like a 3X shirt. This, like, this, you know, yeah. Trust me, Martin was correct on his assumption. He thinks I'm Jeff. He thinks you're Jeff. Well, I'll okay. ask him. No, in that case, that, I'll see him again. That, in that, that case, he's gone downhill. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Jeff's okay. an attractive young man. He yeah. takes great uh, care of his hair, cares right. about how he dresses. That's right. And, that's and, right. Well, then, then there's you. Jeff's and, weird. Hey, I, mean, put I don't you, care how hey, I dress. Hey, put you two together, and you would say, oh, boy, you have blown up, had you? <laughs> that's true. Hey. And I'll Yo, leave it in the no words of Phil regarding Jeff. Yeah. Sperm count was running a little low when we got to Jeffy Go. Uh, that's my favorite line about the. He says it every time you bring up Jeff. Oh no, the bad Jeff. part is, is he go by son by son, and he just, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeff. Okay, here's his problem, and here's his I'll problem, never, and, and by the time I got to Jeff, hey, I was. You know. I'll never forget that morning <laughs> we was going duck hunting. There's a there was a front coming when Jeff was filming. <laughs> And River was fixing to be born. He told, he said, "Dad, River, my my baby's fixing to be born," because he was telling oh. Phil he wasn't coming hunting because he was going because she was Jessica was fixing to deliver. <laughs> and Phil said, "Well, she know what she's doing. She done had to. <laughs> That's not right. She don't need. She don't you. need your three. help. She don't need. She you. done had three. <laughs> and she, Phil said time River too. got here. Yeah." Oh, wow. Uh, Phil ain't known Jessica's name for 20 years. Yeah, who is that? Oh, hey. Hey, 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 Jep's wife. Who you belong to? <laughs> hey, Jep, tell your wife over there. My man, oh, Phil well, Robertson. Let's, yeah. let's take another break. We'll be back. Yeah, right so I'm fat. This. <laughs> He's fat. Got a sharp knife. What? Gobble. He's trying to cut his toes. Gobble. I cannot remove your toe now. That would be one heck of an HR issue if that's the, was wrong. Yeah. We need to call somebody and just yeah. have you the HR written up just okay. for asking. Gobble, I can't put Oh gross. No, that that your toenail in and of itself is an HR violation. You can't do that. I mean, good night. Look, when look running a business, it. HR issues can kill you. Just like if you get the fluid from that toenail on I yourself. So wrongful termination suits, minimum wage requirements, labor regulations, you know, workman's comp, whatever you got down here going on. You better not have done that here, by the way. We have a closed toed shoe policy for a reason. So look. Do we? Yeah, we do. And H especially in the warehouse. Look, any HR manager salaries aren't cheap. They're an average of seventy thousand dollars a year. Bambi, spelled B A M B E E, was created specifically with a small business in mind, you can get a dedicated HR manager, craft HR policy, and maintain your compliance all for just $99 a month. With Bambi, you can change HR 
from your biggest liability to your biggest strength. Your dedicated HR manager is available by phone, email, or real-time chat. From onboarding determinations, they customize your policies to fit your business and help you manage your employees day-to-day all for just $99 a month. Month to month, no hidden fees, cancel anytime. You didn't start your business because you wanted to spend time on HR compliance. Let Bambi help get your free HR audit today. Go to Bambi.com slash size of sleep on me right now to schedule your free HR audit. That's Bambi.com slash duck. Hey, he's back, boys. <laughs> Spelled BAM to the B-E-E dot com slash duck. Go west, young man. Go west. Could you imagine the first person that came to Monroe, Louisiana and said, I'll stop here? What were they thinking? They run out of money. You think yeah, that, that's it. They, they just got tired and said. Hey, they got tired, man. They ran out of horses and ran out of money. That's right. So that's this it. is where we're that's stopping, it. That's boy. where we're stopping. I'm going to look that yeah. up. I don't know. It was probably pretty cool back in the day with a river running through it before the locks and dams got put in. Yeah. And, oh, no, no. You know, before hey, you had 70 granny, miles of farmland between hey. here and the Mississippi River. Yeah. My granny said you could walk across it. Yeah. You could walk across was, what? Oh, no. The, the Washtenaw River. river. The yeah. Washtenaw. Oh, you could walk mm-hmm. across on, on uh, especially on uh, muscle mm-hmm. beds. Mm-hmm. Shell could, beds. Huh? Yeah. yeah. That's a big river. Yeah. Sorry, now, my voice is not anymore. Matter of fact, matter I mean, of fact, it is now. It could, wasn't yeah. then. You, you could have done it right around our by Phil's house. Oh, you right could have done it in downtown West Monroe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yep. It wasn't nothing yeah. but a creek. Look, right a there, river. Hard, brother. When you Word. leave a Hired river alone, it, yeah. it ain't nothing but a creek. That's it. It's a big creek, yeah. but it ain't nothing but a creek. I'm learning. And that's only, only when it's big, it's when flood states. Yeah. The rest of the year, it's the rest just of a year, normal little a flow. Yeah, yeah, it's a real, real little creek. But now they got all that. Because I've gone to the top of the Washita River. Yeah. And every day at and like 10, they let a bunch of water out. Hey, the Washita Lake is drop dead gorgeous. Yeah. This clear water. In Arkansas. Well, yes, the sir. river right there, yes. you oh, can, no, it's, it's clear. Beautiful. You can see the bottom. Smallmouth bass. Yeah. yeah. Lake it ain't Washita nothing like what gorgeous. we're doing with. And by the time it gets here, draining yeah. all of South Arkansas. Yeah, in North Louisiana, it's yep. a gar. Yeah, <laughs> we're at the bottom. Bad, bad water mm, of yeah. the water food chain. But it gets yeah. bad when it passes us, and it turns into the black. Yeah, and then it goes yeah, on it. down and dumps in the Mississippi, and then the runs red, into the Gulf of Mississippi. The red yep. then the Mississippi. Yep, mm. and the reds are in Mississippi. Yeah, yeah. Water's what a wonderful! Fun. What a wonderful! But if you got rid way. of if you got rid of locks and dams, there'd be things would be a lot different. Oh yeah. Well, there'd just be a lot more flood no. areas, wouldn't nope. it? Mm-mm. Just be different nope. flood areas? Be a different flood area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, They control the flooding. Phil wouldn't be able to live where he lives. Yeah, he'd be fine. He'd be fine? Yeah, yeah. he's actually put yeah. underwater by the locks and dams. Huh. Yeah. What it did is keeps all the farm ground dry. Ah, yep. uh, yep. well, that's yep. important, though. I mean, well, I'm yeah. hungry. In I'm, theory. Those are carbs, yeah. though, so Stone tells me I can't eat them. Yeah. Back in the day, it was more important before we started importing a lot of our junk. Yep. So. Wait, we're importing food? I mean, obviously. Yeah. But we grow a lot of our own food. Yeah. I still say import greatly. Dish, dish and dash. I don't know. Yeah. I know we import avocados. Little dish and this, little dish Mexico, that. Which are yeah. gross. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. So, no, that's what it was. They were put in there for that Actually, and for commerce, for, for barge traffic, yep. moving stuff up and down the rivers. There you go. There you go. History lesson. But if you got rid of them, things would be a lot different. Oh, You're yeah. smart, Martin. You know what else we need to They'd talk about? They'd be really cool. But then all these lakes that people love to fish wouldn't be there either. So, like, mm-hmm. Tennessee River wouldn't have all those lakes. Gunnersville, That's Chickamauga, important. all that kind of stuff. God, all right. Man. Well, while yeah. we have you here, Martin, Martin's in teacher, biology what? genius mode. What happened? Ivory what Build way? Woodpecker. He's a farce. Gone forever? Gone. Who? Craig from Idabel, Oklahoma. Gone, gone. Is that where Phil and Kay got married? Idabel, Oklahoma? Sure. Craig says that in an email. Well, he says have. ivory billed woodpeckers are exti- have gone a stink. What do we think? Yeah, it's unfortunate, but yeah. You don't think we can find one? No. They go. The federal government has spent no telling how many millions of dollars looking for that thing. They thought the last one for forever was in a tin saw swamp over there. Somebody spotted it yep. long ago, yep. and so yep. they spent I remember a that being, ton of yeah. money. I've been, I remember like? that being in the news. I don't know what they look like, but I hear they taste like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what they look that like. Might, that, might, that might be the way that why they went the way of the dodo bird. 
No, mm-hmm. they went the way of the dodo because we cleared all their land well, for farm ground. That's, so that's, I've seen a bunch of stuff on the ivory that, building. That's woodpecker. one that's close, but he, he, he's he's uh, named different. Pileated? Yeah. That's his cousin. Wait, yeah. that... Yeah. That's got that, all that, that white an, and them black streaks yeah. running That through. one you had was ivory bill because he's got a white bill on. Pileated's got a two-tone bill. Martin's so smart. Uh, we, had well, learn, no, no. we had to learn yeah. about all that stuff. Well, no, no, the so, ivory yeah. bill is white. His, his bill so when was the last yeah. ivory yeah. billed woodpecker? Well, I don't know, what, 30s or 40s, I think. I mean, it's been a while. That's the last time somebody saw one? It may have been sooner than that, but it it ain't been in our lifetime. Sorry, you ain't seen one? Well, no, no, I I have thought I have. Okay, but it was probably the pleated. He was riding a black panther uh, no, through the no, middle of the no, woods. No, but look, hey, here, no, here's Chasing the thing. Chasing a chupacabra. All right, here's the thing <laughs> about the reason Both I real. say it may not be extinct, okay, is because, you know, we got woods. I'm telling you, a man, a man can't crawl through it. Mm. Yeah, but the okay. only problem is the woods we have left like that ain't where the ivory bill lived. He's well, a swamp. He's a swamp dweller. Well, no, no. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Yeah. Okay. Because hey, because look, I just I look if if you go from the Louisiana coast, the Mississippi coast, Alabama, if you go in the marsh areas of all them states. Okay, I know we've got people in part of it. But there's spots there that they ain't nobody even been. Of course, you could be. That's I where mean, that old dude is, ain't it? I yeah, give you credit. I, I was about to say, they ain't found the ivory bill woodpecker, but they ain't found old what's-his-name they hunt neither. Yeah. So Dog the Bounty hey, Hunter hey, been hey. the best. At, maybe we should turn Dog loose on the woodpecker. Well, No, no, I'm just saying, really. Yeah. You know, I, I would just say there's too much territory, okay, that is still... <laughs> Really unexplorable, Untamed. but I think, well, and unexplorable. I'm pretty sure he's gone. But he I may, got no he clue. May be. I just found I'm out pretty he sure may he's be. gone. Well, how'd this come up? That fan sent it in. Yeah, asking, they sent it in. Yeah. Well, uh, they 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 declared I it extinct. You, yeah, it, it, they it, they what they like two weeks ago? One? They officially uh, no, declared. I think like just a couple of days ago. Uh, yeah. Did he think they he added a few to it? No, he was just saying, what do we think? Because they, they were Hey, him. every once yeah. in a while, somebody comes up, okay, that's out in the wilderness, okay, either fishing, hunting, or whatever, and they think they see one. Yeah. Okay. Because it's a big woodpecker, okay, and they immediately assume if he's big, that it's the, the yeah. uh, you know. And it's hunting season, so you yeah. know the Black yeah. Panther sightings are about to go through the Oh, roof. yeah. Oh, yeah. good grief. Yeah. yeah. I got a bunch of those oh, yeah, in but, the email. Well, you know, there's there's just too many unsplained sightings <laughs> of a big black cat with a long tail. Hop on, everybody. Here we go. Okay, no, I'm just I'm wow. serious. Okay. I'm, with, I'm right. on your side. No, I believe there are black panthers. One hundred percent. Godwin, I I don't know that Godwin's ever made an official declaration of a black panther. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's them Jaguar or whatever them things yeah. are from in, South, in, in from South Mexico. America. Yeah, Mexico. <clears throat> yeah. Black Panther. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, if you want to call him that. But Me- Mexico. Here, here's the thing. Okay. I, I just go are. by what I saw in Florida. Thank you. What? I go in Florida, okay, with Seminole Indians. Thank and you. They, they have got a cage in your face. And, I was we. And they've got. I but I'm and they've got wisdom. I have got. They have got a big cat in that. In that, a young one, a, a juvenile. Juvenile. Mm-hmm. And on the on the cage, I didn't put it cage. on there. He didn't put it on it's there. It's got black panther. That's what. It now says. he wasn't black. He wasn't black. But that's what they had on the cage. So hey, yeah, I'm just gonna go. With I what remember. I wait. Like, remember you just, wait. He wasn't black. <laughs> wait. Right. He, he was, was the great. color of every other panther you've ever Wait. seen. Wait, oh, yeah. he was great. Okay. Wait. He was beautiful though. Huh? That's just the, the this whole time you've been telling me you saw a black panther in a cage marked black panther and it wasn't black. No, no. wasn't no. black. It was great, and I I ain't never. I've said lived it was my black. life. By I've that no. Story. I've never said it was black. It was great. But I'm just going by what was on the cage. Black panther. You still want fist bumping? Right, yeah, right, I mean, I'm still. Right. I saw one by Dollar right, General. Well, no, hey, no, right, right, so. that one over on Field Land. Okay, I put my two pe- peepers on. That Somebody one. put one on Facebook. That was okay. Somebody put yeah. one on Facebook yeah, yeah. over by Caroli yeah. Park. Yeah, and it freaks me out. Well, go find him. Let's do oh. it in this break. We'll oh. be back well, right hey. after this. We got one more. Hey, what is it? It's tough. 
It's a tough because one. it's fact about 30, 35 years of research and development. Folks, let me tell you. Tell them. You've got pain in your body. It's caused by inflammation. Ouch. Okay. So, do you have any so, pain left in your body? Oh, yeah. So, look. <laughs> not until I hate. I have it until I take Omega XL. How does that get rid of the pain? Right. Because, hey, that's what it was made for, okay? And you can only find it in the pristine waters of New Zealand. You went all New the way Zealand. to New Zealand's pristine waters to okay, get Okay, to get Omega XL, which, boys, hey, trust me when I tell you, I take two a day. Two a you day. You can take up to six. Whoa. Because it's not harmful, okay? That's there is awesome. no harmful... Side effects of this medication, okay, and it will get rid of the inflammation, which is causing the pain. What about, like, if I were to rub a topical cream or an ointment on there? No, all you're doing is like the women do when they put their makeup on, okay? They're just masking it's a the cover. problem? It's right. It's a cover-up. What it's does Omega mask. XL do, then? <clears throat> Omega XL goes directly to the problem, so the inflammation, and it gets rid of it. If you got sore muscles after working out. Like you. Hey, like I do every day. Thank you. Okay. Hey, I work out. I take me two Omega XLs and look. I'm fit as a fiddle, boys. Thank you. So let the only me, thing about it, I can't play the fiddle. So let me just get this straight. You work out and then you take them. You don't take them out before you work out. Oh, no, no. I take them. I take them after I work out. After you work yep. out. He well, takes cool. them all the look, time. Yep. And I actually, actually do. Eat me a bowl of oatmeal because Stone says it's very there good go. for you. Oatmeal, there you go. Oat, special case. Oatmeal. Omega XL. And oatmeal, boy. And you're not saying, you. oh, my back hurts anymore. Uh, Look, right. let's get you started. Order Omega XL now and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. And hey, did you catch it? The second bottle is free. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. 800-844-4888. And one last time, 800-844-4888. baby, call us. Not and one, we'll but get two you. bottles. For That's right. What, did you find what you was looking for? Well, no, because I told you it was on Facebook, uh, and luckily for us, Facebook's fa down. Facebook just tweeted that they're down. They're That's down. not even a joke. Collusion. That, Something's that, happened to useless. Facebook. Collusion. Collusion. Yeah, they're, so they're now, useless. So now y'all know what day it is that we're actually filming this and recording and the time. <laughs> Facebook because is down. Three hours Ow. ago, our Facebook friend, tweeted, we are aware that some people are having trouble accessing our apps and products. Our president must have said something stupid. Which one? <coughs> the current one. Excuse me. No. That's the only thing it was showing. It wasn't bad mannered. It was good tea with lemon juice in it. Yeah. We're working to get things back to normal as quickly as possible, and we apologize. I've heard all that Our before. President. All we need is Congress to approve this $3.5 trillion infrastructure bill, go. and we'll be back up and running. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we'll oh, contact yeah. your local official. That's right. No, and kidding. your all donations will I be appreciated. I just really appreciate the fact that Facebook had to tweet. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> cool. I hope they charged them. I would have. They'll probably. If I was Twitter, I'd delete that and be like, what's up? I don't know. What's up, y'all? We still here. Yeah. We still here. I will say this about the Black Panther, though. What segment is this? Four? It's black. Three. Four. Three? Four? I think oh, this is four. I don't know what segment it is. Look, no lie. This is not even a joke. What did it say? One Ready? There. I'm a, what? Let me there it is. read oh, this. There, boy. Read it. What did it say? Read it. I can't Spotted buy. in Richfield Park in Richfield, North Carolina. Black Panther released by licensed exotic pet owner Joe Exotic. No, it doesn't say Who's Joe facing Exotic. charges. What is it doing? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> seen, <laughs> who faces charges? I love it. Contact emergency animal. All right, That's first all. things first. Google that phone number. No, no, no. So we okay. see this? Yeah. All right. All right let me go. North Carolina. Right. That's important to remember. Right. That's right. North Cagadac. Okay, hold on, hold on. But that's, they got they got mountains and woods over there. That's Big time. from our friend Shane. He said that that was spotted in North Carolina. Go Richfield, North Carolina. It's very important that you remember that. Okay. Alan yeah. Gordon also oh. sent in the same thing. All right, Richfield, North Carolina. Carolina. Uh -oh, That's so where they, they spotted it. They, they spotted it. Both of them spotted it. Okay. Right, what, do you, what do you say? Spotted this is Chester. the same exact photo. Mm -hmm. 
Spotted in Chesapeake, Virginia, Black Panther released by licensed exotic pet owner who's facing charges. Gang. If seen, contact emergency animal group. So, so One, that's. Hold on, I'm Googling that phone number. Google that phone number. Google it. I guarantee you it's the people about your car warranty. I know for a fact, friends, you might have to just call it. I got one somewhere. the other day said I'd won a million dollars. Just send five hundred dollars, they'd give me the deal. Uh-huh. Here's the problem. That's when, a good uh, return. When, yeah. when I when I Google that, what did it come up with? A scam alert. A bunch of letters. letters? No, a bunch of pictures. Just call Uh-oh. it, see what happens. No. But I gotta make a no, point here. I wouldn't call that no This is some sort of um it's some kind of scam. Asian writing. Yeah, it's some okay. Yeah. I didn't yeah. get that. Okay. I got other yeah. stuff, but it is a scam alert. Scam but alert, I, I just want to say something alert. to my fellow Black Panther believers. Okay. Well, tell me. Because you are, too. Well, y'all are giving us a bad rap. We were when, wrong. When y'all... <laughs> no, we're not wrong. It does exist. But when y'all sending in these same photos from different states... Uh, in a okay. jag Somebody sent me that same one on Instagram, but I... Yeah, probably from Texas. It. But y'all got to stop doing all that because it's making me inside look bad. I ain't worried about it. Because hey, here's the deal. If, you want, if you want to actually see one of these big old black cats, go go down there in Mexico and see one of them big black jaguars. What is Huh? Hey, stay down there, boys. They got them in cages. Jay saw one and he come back and said, that's right. And he said, you don't believe in black panthers. After he done looked at a big black jaguar. Huh? Yeah. Cancun. A jaguar <laughs> ain't a panther. Uh, a jaguar it's a big a, black cat. A jaguar is a jaguar. Well, hey. He's a big black cat with a long black tail. The only black panther you're going to see in the United States of America plays in the NFL. Go to that stadium <laughs> if hey, you want to go see Hey, that's their mascot. That's Sam what Darnold. I'm talking about. Hey. Do they have one outside the stadium? I'm like sure Mike they do. Like the Tiger? Well, sure well, they got one. How they have one? Hey, got I bet Jaguar. he's made of concrete. Hey. No, what if they have a real, like hey. LSU has Mike the Tiger. Hey, hey. If you well, then they flip probably you, have Jack the Jaguar. If you computer over, you got one right there in front of you, a little one. This is never going to die. Never going to die. That's I'm because sorry. it doesn't live. We, uh, nope. That's exactly right. It ain't never going to die. Because I ain't going to let it. You can't kill something that ain't there. Hey, mm-hmm. hey. That's what I call to them, the uh, wildlife people and ask them, is it okay if I shoot it? Absolutely. And they said no. And I said, why? If it's my imagination, I ought to be able to just shoot it if I want to. <laughs> Thank there you. There you go. Thank Sorry, you. I didn't mean All to right. get us on black. All I want to know is why do you drive on a parkway and park on a driveway? <laughs> that's what I want to know. That's, that's, that's uh, deep. Wait a minute. Hey, say that again. Why do you park on a driveway and drive on, on a parkway? parkway? That's a good question. For you uh, scientific minds out there, call in and give old John an answer on that one, boys. That's brilliant. Hey, that's right. That's deep, boys. That's, That's brilliant. Deep. You're thinking about it now. Ain't That's you? deep. Well, you've told me water. a few times. Yeah. And why do you and park on a driveway and drive on the parkway? Yeah. He ain't crazy. lying. Hey, he ain't lying either, boys. Yeah, you think you'd park in the parkway? Yeah, but it's the other yeah. way. You you park in a driveway and you drive on the parkway. Johnny D's you have to ask long. George Carlin on that. Why are they apart? That's Why George do they call Carlin them apartments always. when they're together? That's right. <laughs> That's there you right. go. There you Why go, is boy. it called hey. a building if it's already been built? <laughs> yeah. Hey, a building. They ain't building it. They ain't building it. Hey. It should be a built thing. Yeah. It should be a built. Ah, built it. Where you live in that built over? <laughs> See? Right. That Thank built, you. That built over. <laughs> <laughs> now this is an episode I can get behind. Hey, other other right? weird we stuff. We get into this, hey. This is this is I getting like complex it. and uh, compound. This is almost boys. as good as Seinfeld on Netflix. That's mm-hmm. it, boys. Hey, it's Seinfeld. What on else Netflix? you got in it there, is. John? Officially. JD. I got a couple of good email. Are, are we Brett? No, we. Is there any news? We're Why is the alphabet in that order? Huh? Is, is Why is the alphabet in, in order? the world? I don't know. That really we need to know about. A, B, C. Yeah. I'm talking about something amazing or something good. <laughs> We're having change. three conversations right at now. one time. It's at pretty one Mine's time. the only one that matters. Cause this is okay, good. well, what was you talking about? The guy would ask me, why is the alphabet in that order? <laughs> there you go. Because of the song. I got it. Because of what? The song. The song? 
What? A, B, what song? A, B, C, D, E, F, oh, oh, that's the one. Otherwise, oh, okay. it wouldn't flow if it was yeah. A, Z, Q, P, oh, okay. R, S, T. Would you yeah, like would me to answer like your question, Godwin? What was that? What? Why do we park in the driveway and drive yep, in the park? There's, there's a simple explanation from right. Merriam-Webster. I love it. Why are you so close to me? So the word parkway referred to a broad road through a park. And it, it came out before the car. We've been using parkway and driveway before cars. See? Well, why was there a reason for a driveway? Well, how come a driveway? A, a driveway is a private road giving access from a public way to a building. Wrong. No. No, I mean, that, you're that's right. That's the definition. But I'm just saying no. it's wrong. That's wrong. I'll finish that. That, that ain't right. See, that's the problem. They made these words, put the definitions, and yeah. then they weren't flexible That's when right. things yeah. changed. Yeah, and it wasn't right. Does that sound familiar? I guess so. <laughs> I park in my driveway. Some people park in a garage instead. Sometimes I park in my yard. <laughs> I've parked in my yard before, too. So, yeah. I'm so I, I, confused. These were like, you might be a redneck if you park in your yard. <clears throat> you park in your yard? I park anywhere I want to, JD. <laughs> I'm like a silverback gorilla, son. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I... silver on you, old man, your beard. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about, right? You a silver bearded redneck. That's not you true. Ain't no we have pieces gorilla. of silver right here in front of us. Thank you. Yeah, that we got from our friends at SD Booyah. SD and Booyah. we're going to take a break, and we'll Booyah. be back Booyah. right after I, I got some good emails. Well, good. We'll well, Let's take a break. We'll be back. That's right. We're going to take a break. And we're back. And we're back. Let's get in that inbox. Hello oh. at duckcallroom.com is the address. If y'all would like to send us any questions, comments, or concerns, just know if they're not nice, we're not going to read them. I, so, no, I read them all. What happened to the conspiracy theory stuff? Well, thank you for asking that. Hey, that's a good question. Because I'm there, about Johnny to address Goblin? that. Oh, are you? I oh, really was. That's you a, going to discuss look, that? The first email I have pulled up, uh, the subject line is conspiracy. But yeah. I do want to say thank you for the emails. I read them all. There's no way I could respond to all of them, but I do read them. And if they're funny enough or if I want to talk about them, I bring them right here onto the Duck Call Room podcast in this segment. But we did ask for conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. And you people are weirdos. Uh oh, That's all I got to say. Well, we why, got well. Wait a minute now. Hold it. You no. can't just make a throw an uh, average statement out of their widow. We got a lot of backing it up. I can read. You got to explain. Yeah. We got a lot of uncomfortable conspiracy theories. A bunch of like cuckoo conspiracy theories that I don't even know how to talk about. For instance, I'm not going to say this person's name. Here is his email or her. I don't know. Trump's uncle had a time machine, and Trump used it to go to the future. Queen Elizabeth is a lizard person. Putin saw this and ran from the queen and hasn't been back. That word for word what I'm receiving. So I don't think we can do conspiracy theories because it's that's cuckoo. Read that again. Well, yeah. Trump's uncle had a time machine, and Trump used it to go to the future. Queen Elizabeth is a lizard person. Putin saw it and ran from the queen and hadn't been back. Okay, conspiracy. I got some questions. Uh, conspiracy. Uh, uh, I got some questions. Uh, I'm, I'm relaxed because I thought I'm not sitting up like I normally am. Okay, he's relaxed. Uh, okay. Trump's uncle. Trump's uncle has a time yeah. machine. No, had. Oh, yeah. Had. He lost it in the future. Had. 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 Okay. So it's a DeLorean. You so, got to go 88 miles per yeah. hour and bump it. So he sold it. Okay, so that's out. That's okay. why he's so Made rich. Trump went to the future. I don't know what happened. That, is, then there's a period. Is that now? No, that's is a period. Is now the future since oh, yeah. he was uh, yeah. Trump used it Tomorrow, to go to the future, period. Well, is Queen Elizabeth the lizard So right Trump's now? not here anymore. I don't know. but I see him every day on news. Yeah. Queen Elizabeth okay. is a lizard person. I know. Is, is Queen sentence. Elizabeth the lizard she's person right Airport. now? She's up under the Denver airport. I did oh. get a lot of explanations oh, she's about on the Denver the, uh -oh. airport, and uh, I, that freaks me out. Putin, and also it says Putin. Putin? I'm assuming that's Putin. <laughs> Putin. Just going by everything else that uh, this it could be just said. a it could be putter. A golf putter. Saw it and ran from the yeah, queen a and golf putter. Yeah, I golf don't know. Putter. But there's a bunch of conspiracy theories. And I like a good Black <laughs> Panther. But that's not a conspiracy theory. No, that, yeah. That's just rednecks right. talking. Hey. Like, that's not okay. Uh, 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 now, but we talking about Trump's uncle had a time machine. That's a the conspiracy future. Queen theory. Elizabeth is a lizard person. 
and Putin saw it, and he ain't been back. He ain't been back. Gordigo. I I mean... I don't. I'd like know. to know where he went. That just don't make sense. All right, look, I'm gonna he confuse. Ain't got look the time here, machine. fine. Ready? Here's yeah. another one. Not gonna say this person's uh, name. Uh, but they're from Pittsburgh, Texas. <laughs> The Pittsburgh, same person, Texas. that same place that dude. Pittsburgh, the Texas. Ah. All right, here's the conspiracy. There ain't no such place as Pittsburgh, right. Texas. Antarctica is a hollow earth theory, and I also believe pyramids are pre-flood constructions, and that they are basically a big battery. <laughs> well, hey. I hope three's enough. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Twilight Zone, boys. Or maybe maybe Antarctica Hollow Earth theory. I don't even know what. Maybe it's Ripley's. Believe it or not, this person believes the pyramids are giant batteries. I was like really hoping to discuss like flat Earth. (laughs) I mean, there was there was like one of those. We fall off. No, it's, if it's flat, no, you're gonna flat, fall off. I watched a documentary hey, look, on the flat Earth. It's hilarious. Hey, because they basically prove themselves wrong every five minutes. Well, hey, look, if you if it's flat, you're gonna fall off if you go there. Well, but you, luckily for you, the pyramids are apparently big batteries that are holding us all in. Well, I got one question. No, no, I got one question. I got thousands. Are they wired in series or parallel? Yeah, because hey, that's, that's gonna it. matter how yeah. long I can run. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> I, that depends. That makes it how like long. 20, they're right. 24, or so now, if you are wondering, <laughs> are they lithium? Why yeah. haven't they talked about the conspiracy theories? Because I had to read that for three hours one day. Stuff Can like we that. fly them on a plane? Is it safe to fly them on a plane? The what, pyramids? the pyramids? Yeah, the pyramids. How are you going to fit a pyramid on a plane? Get a big plane. A pyramid is a plane. Bye. All right. Oh, hey. <laughs> See, there you go. It's That's a why rocket. I said it's Twilight <laughs> Zone. That's how they say they got here. I know. It. Hey, that's the theory on that. I want to know that who they, they are either. aliens. And they landed here on Earth. And they brought and, batteries and, hey, with them. And they made that head of the Phoenix. Is that it? Sphinx. Sphinx. Yeah. They made the head of the Sphinx. <laughs> That's is, what they look like. That's this what is what people, it's like reading That's what these people look like. And hanging out with Cy. <laughs> <laughs> what channels oh, I got do you people kind of watch? <laughs> oh, that ain't on TV. <laughs> oh, no, no, this ain't on TV. This is live for real. No, it ain't for real. Okay, do you know the pyramid has got cypress trees in its in its building? Wait, what? No, it doesn't. Yeah, you, you talking uh, about the Bass Pro? I pyramid? beg your pardon. And Look it up and tell me that there's not cypress trees laid in between the pyramids when it's going up. I, the reason I know this is true. My daughter brought back a piece from there. When you, she went she knocked it. out part of the pyramid? She took a piece of the cypress tree out. Is that how you power your house? Of the no. pyramid? No. Yes. She's going to jail. No, but she ain't. Egypt jail. Hey, the, the, the what, limitations, statue of limitations run out. Now, Egypt. there's all kinds of cypress trees in that pyramid in Memphis. Montezuma oh, yeah. cypress Bucko. tree? I don't know. There's a bunch in, all right, in we the Noah's Ark, too, where they got it built. No, that's, that's, that's wrong. Really that's wrong. Let's go for wood. Go for wood. <laughs> Build an ark of go for wood. That's right. Make it 75 foot the, tall and 400 feet. The ark is go for wood. That's biblical. My head hurts. Right. Pitch it with tar <laughs> and bring it. Seven Mark, of every Mark clean animal. Hurt. Two Mark of said, every unclean. I got a headache. It can't this, even split this, off and go This nowhere. conspiracy theory did not work out like we no, were playing. No, the funny next? thing to me. Uh, no, I better uh, not say this. All right, go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. I was going to say, these people will believe this, but then if you try to tell them about Jesus, they're like, well, that's just absurd. Oh, boy. yeah, that's yeah. That's, uh, oh, that's <laughs> far-fetched. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you gone overboard now. Yeah. So but they I'm, believe in uh, some microbe crawling out of some sludge well, and becoming I mean, a human being. That is what it is. Coming out of salt water for crying but out loud. For crying out loud. Yeah, well, and then not. they do stuff like my friend Michaela. From Grand Junction, Colorado, oh. currently in the Army. Thank you for your service, That's Michaela, at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. But you're gross as crap because she said she likes to dip her Oreos in salsa. Hey, she liked the girl like salsa. Oreos in salsa. It's Oreos. back to because so, hey, so Oreos far, are solid. Must I'll I try. remind? Salsa's no, extra may so. I remind I'll try. you just what I started this podcast with? Is this or is it not this America? This is America. You can well, dip. Well, then, hey, she can dip her Oreos in salsa. But I'm so going to do it. I'm going to do it and hey, see what it tastes hey. like. We got peanut butter corn on the cob. Yep. Interesting. Mustard on, on watermelon. Not no, I'm out on that. I'm and out. now Michaela 
is dipping her Oreos in salsa. Well, she likes but, salsa. Hey, look, is that any more far fetched than them folks that dip their French fries in ice cream? No, what? that's way. Actually, that's a good waste of ice cream. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm just, but, I mean, that's French just my humble opinion. A, okay, okay. Now, this like is I've dipped a, I've dipped a French fry in a frosty. I've done it. It's good. Uh, I mean, I don't like live for it. But, but would you put salsa on an Oreo? Well, here's what I'm telling you. If I happen to be at a party where I've got some Oreos on my plate and I wanted some <laughs> chips and salsa and some salsa, I guess <laughs> on my it. Oreo, I ain't throwing the Oreo away. No, but no. your wife. I'm like, but I'm like, I'm I'm running it. I'm like, yeah, let me try that. Right, let's try it one time. I'm not saying right. I'm going to wake up, but Michaela may, you know, have, I don't know. We got any other unusual dippings? G- Greg, dippings? we got Greg. My man Greg uh, is a watermelon and cantaloupe kind of guy, but he puts Tabasco pepper? sauce on him. I'm out on He Tabasco. likes his watermelon like and cantaloupe Tabasco. hot. He likes a little vinegar. You don't? He likes hot. But that's just, there's a I lot of weird. I can understand that. All right, he give, me a nut. give me a That's nut. what I got so far. I, like but I am enjoying the weird sweet. foods. I like yeah. my cantaloupe sweet. But, weird but food fetishes. Are I think we're gonna literally cool. have to have an episode where we bring in all the weird foods we're we talked about have to taste it and go taste and it. taste corn yeah. and peanut I ain't butter. Eating. This that ought to be a good Oreos good. and salsa. I ain't eating that watermelon mustard. I ain't Some, doing that. Our fan, ain't. Oh, one other oh, you one. You gotta I have a no thank you portion. Oh, he got no, one more. Yeah, I do. No, he thank got you. one more before we give the Bible verse. Well, uh oh, wait, I just oh, got. I'm one. trying to think Uh-oh. if there's something oh. weird I what? liked it that I think people. Here's would the think problem: it's, it's weird yellow mustard. These people are obsessed with nut. Kyle from Nineveh, Indiana, literally just sent this. Nineveh. He really? said Nineveh. He heard about yeah. mustard on watermelon and peanut butter and corn on the cob, but yellow mustard on corn on the cob is the way to go. Is he killing the Jonah? I, Yellow mustard on. Uh, now nah, that would work. It's kind of Jonah. And that then there would was work. another email about eating a peanut butter and onion and mushroom and mustard sandwich. <laughs> That's a good way to mushrooms. Like what? Yeah. Okay. Man. Well, hey, That's no, what I'm saying. That's the kind of stuff hey, I read. Welcome to the variety of the world. Le- Richard, Richard here. Hear me out. Peanut butter and yellow mustard. Yeah. Our fans are obsessed with peanut butter and mustard, and some of them are combining it, but they're putting it all on things that don't belong. What they got against you? They put it on a sandwich? They put it on everything. They put it on everything. Hmm. I'm it's losing everywhere. my voice. It's everywhere. I give up. I do, too. I do. I, don't, I mean, like... It's a weird uh, week. What are we going to leave the folks with tonight about the Bible? I don't know. I don't know, because I'm hung up on this mustard. One. Of course I We need to try some of them Well, then dishes. give us a, a, a good one to go out all of. All right, but we are... We're going to... Uh, Mr. Man behind the computer, I'm going to need you to bring Oreos, salsa, peanut butter, corn, and watermelon, and I guess yellow mustard. I'll bring the mustard from my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> the fans really appreciate that. All right, this week's Bible verse. I was just at that men's retreat, and this is the verse that uh, we talk about a lot. Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the, by the renewing, renewing of your mind. Hey, Go Uncle ahead. Si's got it. Hey, that's Go it. That's yeah. the first part of it. That's that's what we kind of live our lives by. Look, if you're being a Christian, you have been transformed by the will of God, and you're going to be different, and your life's going to be different from this day forward. That's what that. That's what that person says every time they bite into that watermelon with that mustard on it. Do not conform to this world. (laughs) But be transformed (laughs) by the renewing of (laughs) your mind because you're going to throw up. Mm. But hey. Thank you for listening. That's right. We out. We out. We're out. Till next time. Quack, quack.